Guys, what is going on? Back up here for another video, and today I'm going to be bringing you a ranking video. Today I'm going to be ranking the Money in the Bank men's ladder match participants, and in the order of who I think will be most likely to win from greatest to least. So without further ado, let's talk about these eight participants. We now know the eight names that will be in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We have The Miz. We have Samoa Joe. We have Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens, Rusev, a member of the New Day. I'll get to that more on in the video. And Bobby Roode. So, I'm going to rank them from who I think will be least, we'll start with least likely to win, to most likely to win. Let's start at number eight. Bobby Roode. Man, oh man, I couldn't care less about Bobby Roode. And I was a fan of his work, um from the brief period of time that I watched TNA. Um, and his NXT championship run, I thought, was solid. I thought he played that heel role really well. The arrogant, cocky, over-the-top, you know, I'm better than you, you know, what I say is BS, but I really don't give a crap. His matches against guys like, you know, Nakamura, Roderick Strong, etc. It was going good. And then he got called up to the main roster. I'm like, okay, he's finally here. Let's see what they got for him. And he was a babyface coming in. I'm like, okay, we'll see how long that lasts. I assume maybe in a couple months he'll go back to the character that he was playing on NXT, which I thought he was suited for. And that was over a year ago. And here we are. He's now on Raw, and I just I don't care. I really just don't care. And it's just like he comes out glorious. Crowd really doesn't seem to care at all either. Um, so, yeah, I just really would wish they'd flip him to a heel. I just feel he's better suited as a heel. Some guys are just born to play heels or baby faces. It goes both ways. And I feel that's the case with Bobby Root. He's going to be in this match, but to be honest, I would be very, 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 very surprised to see him win this match. I really would. And that's why I have him at number eight here on my list. Number seven, the member of the New Day that I will think that I think will be in this match, I'm going to go with a surprise. Everybody's saying Big E. And I still think it's either going to be between these two. I think it's either going to be Big E or I got Kofi Kingston. I would love to see Kofi Kingston in a Money in the Bank ladder match. It's been a long time since we've seen him in a Money in the Bank ladder match. I can't remember the last one that he was in, but I know he was in uh, at WrestleMania 26. He might have been in another one between now and then, but um, I think just what Kofi would able to be, be able to do with his high-flying ability... I think it would be really fun to watch in this match. So, yeah, I think it's either going to be him or Big E. But I don't think a member of the New Day is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match unless they want to go with a, a complete swerve, a complete shock, out of nowhere. Maybe that leads to the breakup of the New Day. We'll have to see. But um, I'm picking Kofi Kingston here. That's why he's number seven here on my list. Going on to number six, Rusev Day. By the way... Happy Rusev Day, because, of course, every single day is Rusev Day. Happy to see Rusev get a spot here on the in the, in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Don't think he's going to win it, though. I think it'll be a nice roll for him. You know, nice spot on the pay-per-view card. I'm sure he'll be insanely over with the Chicago crowd, so that'll be great to see. Yeah, but Rusev ain't winning this by a long shot. So that's why he is number six here on my list. Number five, Kevin Owens. This is where we start to get into the area of um, guys that I think have a shot at winning. I think KO has a shot. Wouldn't surprise me. Mr. Money in the Bank. Perhaps cashing in on Brock Lesnar. Winning back his Universal Championship, which he never got a rematch for. Seems like everybody that loses the Universal Championship... Doesn't get a rematch. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, and Goldberg. Just saying. It wouldn't surprise me if they went with Kevin Owens. Um, I think he'd be a great Mr. Money in the Bank. 
Um, but I don't think he's winning it this year. I think there are guys ahead of him. Like you said, he's kind of that middle of the pack. I wouldn't be surprised if they went with him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't win either. So that's the best way that I can put it here. Number four on my list is Braun Strowman. The reason Braun's not higher on this list is because I feel he doesn't need to be money in the bank, or as he called it, monster in the bank. And I'm not finished with you yet. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it'll be great to see somebody as big as Braun in this match and just see what the hell he'll be able to do. But like I said, he don't need that money in the bank briefcase because if he wanted to, he could challenge for the Universal Championship anytime, any place. So I feel there are other guys that, if they get the briefcase, it could help elevate them, and that should be the whole point of it. You know, certain guys they don't need that briefcase. I feel Braun falls into that category, so that's why he is number four here on my list. Not the list, but this list. Number three, Finn Balor. Finn is somebody that I feel just can't get that momentum going. You know. Won the Universal Championship, gets hurt. Comes back. Feuds with Bray Wyatt. Has a good match with AJ Styles, then kind of just falls by the wayside. Has a really good showing in that triple threat match. You see my point here. I feel if you, Finn winning the Money in the Bank briefcase, that would help give him some direction, a boost. Maybe you could do something with that. Maybe, you know, have him cash in. On whoever. Hey, if you want to do Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, and Balor cash in and steal the title away from both Lesnar and Rollins, turn Balor heel and do a heel Balor versus Seth Rollins feud for the Universal Championship. I'm just saying, not looking that far into the future, but I'm just saying there are possibilities that exist out there. That being one of them. As a fan of Finn, I'd like to see him win. That's why he is in my top three. There are two more guys, I feel, that are ahead of him when it comes to becoming Mr. Money in the Bank. Number two, he just won the right to be in this match. Of course, I'm talking about the Destroyer, Samoa Joe. Would not surprise me to see Samoa Joe walk out of Money in the Bank with that briefcase. He already said he's coming after the WWE Champion, whoever that may be. Whether it's AJ Styles or Shinsuke Nakamura, Samoa Joe does not give a damn. And he shouldn't. He's Samoa Joe. He don't give a shit. He'll bulldoze right through you. And he'll laugh in your face about it. That's what I love about Samoa Joe. I think he would be a great Mr. Money in the Bank. And a great WWE Champion. So that's something I would like to see down the line. It could be Samoa Joe's time. But I think there is just one more person that... A lot of us think will become a two-time Money in the Bank winner. And I believe we've only had one other two-time Money in the Bank winner. That is, of course, CM Punk. And my number one pick here on my list is The Miz. Yes. I think he is a lot of people's picks. I think you could do a scenario where The Miz would win the Money in the Bank match. And like I said, Miz won the match back in 2010. We all know he cashed in and became WWE Champion, carried that championship into WrestleMania 27. And um, I think it could be a tremendous Mr. Money in the Bank. And I think there's a scenario you could do where Daniel Bryan's challenging for the title um, at SummerSlam. And maybe you have The Miz cash in on in that match and take the championship away from Bryan. And then you, there's your Miz and Daniel Bryan program. We all know it's going to happen. And Miz winning Money in the Bank could be the catalyst for that feud truly kicking off. If you want to save it for a championship chase for Bryan... You could go all the way to WrestleMania with that. I think there are a lot of possibilities with Miz as Mr. Money in the Bank. Two-time Mr. Money in the Bank. And um, we'll see if they go in that direction. But, yeah, guys, real quick, once again, run down uh, my ranking list here. Number eight, Bobby Roode. Number seven, Kofi Kingston. 
Number six, Rusev. Number five, Kevin Owens. Number four, Braun Strowman. Number three, Finn Balor. Number two, Samoa Joe. And number one, The Miz. So those are my rankings of the men's potential men's Money in the Bank match. Winners from least to greatest. I want to say thank you all for watching this video, guys. Really looking forward to Money in the Bank. I think it'll deliver. I think it'll be an infinitely better show than Backlash was. Um, there are a number of matches here on the card that I am looking forward to, so we will see how the rest of the card fills out. I will, of course, be back up here with um, a ranking video for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match field, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to click my like and subscribe button here on youtube.com slash danielguysof412 for all my latest thoughts. Be sure to follow me on Twitter here at danielguysof412. And be sure to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash danielguysof1994. Links to those videos will be down below in the description box. So until then, guys, thanks for watching this video and take care.